I'm Melina Rizek and I'm at the Waverly Inn restaurant for a book party for its chef, John DeLucci's autobiography. Now, when it opened three years ago, the Waverly was the media and celebrity hotspot. It was impossible to get a table. They didn't even have a phone number. There's paparazzi camped outside, and the owners swore up and down that the place wasn't technically open, even though sightings of its well-heeled clientele were a gossip column staple. All of this for a place that serves chicken pot pie and mac and cheese. A uh, friend and I, we noticed the for sale sign outside, so we had um, we said, let's buy the place, and uh, we bought it and um, opened it. It was a little local neighborhood place. Well, you didn't quite open it. It was Well, still not open, technically, no. <laughs> we're still working on it. So it's, uh, yeah, we're workshopping, as they say, in the restaurant business. How long has it technically not been open? Um, I think it's about three and a half years. <laughs> yeah, our menu still says preview. We're, about, we're in our third year. We're working the kinks out still, I, I would say. That is brilliant, <laughs> that their, their menu is in preview still. It's brilliant. I wish I could do that. <laughs> yeah, I was a corporate drone, and I was miserable. I decided I needed to do something else, and I chose cooking, or sort of chose me, I guess. There was an evening, uh, as I, I described in the book, snowy winter night, it was cold, the fireplaces are blazing, and every other table is a, is a recognizable face. If they're a recognizable face, they're a recognizable name also. Can you share some? No, I mean, not really. <laughs> Do you have a favorite celebrity sighting here at the Waverly Inn? I always like the ones I was having dinner with. They're the best. <laughs> some of the regulars that you eat with? Uh, Ash Carter, Max Carter, Spike Carter, Bronwyn <laughs> Carter, Anna Carter. This is your family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're careful in the seating every night and, and uh, well, I seat the restaurant every night, at, uh, every single night for three and a half years. Uh, somebody works for me, does a draft of it, and then we look over it, look at the late list, and it's an important part of the restaurant business, I think. How important is the seating arrangement? Well, in some restaurants, it's more important than others. <laughs> is this one of those restaurants? I, next question. <laughs> I do know John. He's a friend of mine. So uh, so I literally come in and say, uh, hi, I, I'm going to say hi to John, the chef, and end up standing by the bar, having a nice glass of Prosecco, trying to score some appetizers, especially the $55 mac and cheese with the white truffle oil. I didn't really want to serve truffles at first. I, I thought that was a little bit too upscale. For, for such a neighborhood joint, but everybody sort of went berserk. Well, you shave some truffle over it, it costs $55. Yes, I think it's a bargain. You, know, you can go around the corner and pay much more. It's, it's really the same thing. If there were a mural of regulars of the Waverly Inn, who would be on it? Ash Carter, Max Carter, Spike <laughs> Carter, Robin Carter, Anna Carter. Your dedication is admirable. <laughs> <laughs> The readers are leaving, but we've made it this far inside, so we're going to try and grab a table and eat before they realize we cannot afford the $55 mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs>